What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw in three point perspective at a worm's eye view. So usually you would find the worm on the ground and when you're on the ground and looking up at something that's a worm's eye view because you're viewing something at a worm's perspective. So how are we going to do this? You're obviously going to need a ruler. I'm using a 12 inch. You can also use a 6 inch if you want and then I'm also going to use my uh, collar raise pencil for this and then my HB pencil and then I'm gonna use my sharpie to mark our vanishing points because since this is three-point perspective the name speaks for itself which means we gotta add three vanishing points so since we're at a worm's eye view we're gonna place our horizon line at the bottom so we're gonna take our ruler and draw a line across the page like that so two of our so two of our vanishing points will go somewhere on this line so let me place the two of them right now. So that's one and two. And then our third vanishing point will go somewhere else on the page. So let's place it up here. Okay, so now we got one, two, three point perspective. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my ruler and make these two lines intersect. So what I'm gonna do is create a vertical line I'm gonna draw it all the way down so that it intersects with this horizon line. This horizon line is our eye level line. And the line that I'm about to draw is the vertical line. Like that. So what we're gonna draw in three point perspective would be a triangular prism. So I know that seems hard because a triangle also has diagonal lines on it, but don't worry, I'm here to show you how to do it. So what we're gonna do first is start out with a square base and then we can construct a triangle based off of that square. So first I'm gonna pick a point on this vertical line and I'm gonna mark it with an X and I'm gonna connect that X to our vanishing point that's over here. And then we're gonna pick another point which is right here and draw that in. Okay, and then the bottom base of the triangular prism will be visible, so we also got to consider that. So let's draw another stopping point that's right about here. And then just draw that in. Okay, and then with this other vanishing point, we can connect this point with our two X's that are over here. So let's connect the top one first. and then the bottom. Okay, so now these two lines intersect. So let's draw another X here, and we're gonna make another vertical line so we can build our square base. Okay, so now we got a square right here. Let me darken that just a little bit. Okay, so now we got our square base. So now we can take this part of the square and then this part of the square and then this one's already connected to this vanishing point. So we're gonna do that with the other two points. So let's take our ruler. Connect them with the vanishing point. Okay, so let me darken those two. So that way you, the viewer, know what lines we need exactly. So now we have a rectangular prism. What we're going to draw is a triangular prism. And a triangular prism has a triangle base. So a rectangular prism has a square base. So we're going to change this base into a triangle. So right now you can eyeball where the midpoint of the square would be. So let's pick this point. And instead of drawing another vertical line, we're gonna connect this X to this point, and then this X also to this point. And then these two points are already connected with this line. So all we gotta do is connect to the top X with one point and then the other. And now we have our triangle. So let me draw that in with my HB pencil. So 
So now since we have our tip of the triangle, which is up here, we're gonna connect that point to our third vanishing point. So let's do that. Okay, now somewhere along this line, we're gonna pick a stopping point for our triangular prism. So let's pick a point, like say right here, where this line intersects. So now we're gonna take this diagonal line and make a smaller version of it right here. Because since we already have our triangle drawn, all we gotta do is eyeball it to see if it matches. Okay, so the line I drew, I feel that it matches good enough. So I'm gonna darken that. And then I'm also going to draw this top portion in. And then I'm not going to draw this line in yet because we haven't finished the bottom base. We haven't picked the stopping point for that yet. So what I am going to do is I'm going to take the point, this angle that's over here, connect that with this vanishing point. Okay, so all we gotta do is darken that in. And then connect the two lines. And then I'm actually gonna darken the base. And it looks like that's about it. So let me erase all these guidelines that we don't need anymore. And I know I didn't do a good job erasing them, but they're still there in case you want to try this out again. But anyways, that's how you draw a triangular prism in one, two, three point perspective. And on top of that, we did it at a worm's eye view. So the bottom base is what we see. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I